Hey, Claude Plon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is going to be uh, video five on the widgets, WordPress widgets video series. And this is going to be the last one for this part uh, for a while. And then I'll come back and do uh, some updates if we need to. But here's uh, some widgets that we didn't cover in the first four videos and, and you should be aware of. First one is called archives. By the way, the, the widget dashboard page displays um, differently. On this particular website, it looks this like this. On my blog, it displays a little bit differently. So you'll, you, know, you get used to that. And depending on the theme you're using and the version of WordPress that's in there, um, it may display differently. But the basic availability of the same th widgets are there anyway. So archives. You can remember you can drag them over. In some cases, uh, in, the, in some of these new formats, you don't drag them over. You a, a dialog box opens up, and then you click it to move it over. Archives will give you information on your website organized by date. So if you uh, have a website that's been around a long time, it will organize it by year, by month, by day, and it, it allows people to access your information chronologically. And we'll see a sample of that um, shortly. Categories. A lot of people use categories to display on their sidebar. It allows people to see what their website is about, and it organizes things very clearly by category, so they can access information based on how you have your site organized. Now, you organize your categories by going up to the Posts tab here, clicking on the Categories page when you clear, design your site, and then you name your categories and you organize your site uh, on the categories dashboard, when you drag the widget over to the sidebar, it will then access that information and display it just how you've laid it out on your category dashboard page. Um, what's another good one? Links. Links are links to other sites that you find interesting, better known as a blog role, and uh, you organize your links. Again, the, dash, the widget will display the links as they have been organized up here in your links page. So if you have a links page and you organize your links, you, it will show you what they are. You add new links to the links page by clicking add new link, filling in the name, the web address, etc. So that's how the links get organized in your widget. And then there are some others here that, are, that people do use, recent comments. People like to put recent comments. This is a widget that will organize uh, the comments that come onto your blog from the comments dashboard page and put them in here. And you can organize the number that you have. You can title all of these widgets, custom title them if you want. So it doesn't have to say recent comments. It can say whatever title it is you want. Uh, recent comments, recent posts. People like to put um, samples of the most recent information in the sidebar so that people can get access to it. So you just drag it over. And then Tag Cloud. The Tag Cloud uh, is another one that comes in handy. It organizes the information on your website by keyword. But as you create the content on your website, uh, one of the things you should do when you're creating a post is put some tags that are relevant to whatever that post is about. And that way, if people access, if you put the display the tag cloud and people click on the, on the tag, they will access your post. So those are some of the samples of uh, the widgets that we didn't cover that you should be aware of. Tags, tag cloud, recent posts, recent comments, links, categories, archives. Let's take a look and see how some people use them. Here's a website, sugarray.com, a very prominent, well-known expert in SEO and affiliate marketing, she has the categories here laid out. So you can see how her site is organized. And if you want to access information related to those categories, you can just click on the categories. She also has top posts. These are the posts that she wants to highlight, uh, popular reviews or reviews she's made. Glenn Alsop, he's got popular posts. So you can just see how the uh, recent posts or popular posts, you can you know rename these as you want. Um, will emphasize information you want to make available to your viewers. Topics is just another way of calling them categories. You can see how it's organized here on his sidebar. Eric Nagel, another well-known affiliate marketer and SEO expert. Now here he has the tags. So if I were to click on data feeds, it's going to take me 
to all of the web posts that relate to data feeds, if I were interested in that subject. Uh, recent comments, he's got them there. Categories, he's got his stuff organized so you can see what his web, how his website is organized. The most recent comments, blog roll. So now th these are all the people that he recommends that you know about. Recent posts, this is the most recent in information he has. And then his guest posts where he has written information on other posts. So you can see how those widgets are working. And then Guru Bob, another SEO expert, and uh, he's got categories, he has the blog role, he has his most recent posts, and then here you see the archives, organized by year, it takes it right down the line, and if you can click on any one of these and go into and delve in, he's got his tags, his tag role right here, so, you know, you can see the way these widgets and the way this information is organized. Some of these widgets can be dragged into the sidebar and some of them can be dragged into the footer, depending on the type of configuration or theme you are using. And we've just seen samples of that. But all you gotta do is just drag and drop. So that's it. These are some of the samples of widgets you should be aware of. I hope this video has been helpful. This is Claude Pilon at Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.